Premio. <laughs> Judge of the sons of Jacob, may the Lord bless you. I have carried out the Lord's order. What then is this bleating of sheep and the lowing of the oxen that I very clearly hear? It drowns the noise of your celebrations! It is from the spoils of the Amalekites, because the people spared the best of the sheep and oxen to sacrifice them to the Lord your God, but the rest we have utterly destroyed. You listen, and let me tell you what it was the Lord said to me last night. Tell me. Is it not true that you considered yourself to be lowly, but the Lord made you head over the tribes of the sons of Jacob and anointed you so that you would become king over them? It's true. And the Lord sent you on a mission and said, go and utterly destroy the Amalekites? Fight until you completely exterminate them? Yes, he did. Why did you not obey the voice of the Lord? Instead, you rushed to gather the spoils and did evil in the eyes of the Lord Almighty. I obeyed the Lord's every command and went on the mission the Lord sent me. I captured Agog, the king of Amalek, and destroyed his people. But our people, they took the best sheep and the best oxen to sacrifice to the Lord our God here at Gilgal. Listen to me, because I will not repeat these words I say to you. I want you to carve these words directly on your heart this very day, King Saul! I'm listening, my lord. Has the lord as much delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in you obeying his voice? Obedience is far better than any spoils or sacrifice. Rebellion is like the Sin of divination and stubbornness, like the evil of idolatry. Because you have chosen to reject the word of the Lord, he in turn has made a choice to reject you from being king. I have. I've sinned. What is there to do? I have sinned because I have disobeyed the Lord's order and your command. I feared the people and listened to their word. Please, my lord, forgive my shameful sin. Return with me so that I may worship the Lord your God. I will not return with you. You have rejected the word of the Lord. The Lord has rejected you from being king over the sons of Jacob. <laughs> The Lord will tear the kingdom of Jacob's sons from you today and will give it to your neighbor who is better than you. The glorious God of Jacob's sons does not lie nor change his mind, for he is not a man that he should change his mind. I have sinned. I have sinned. Please, I... I need you to honor me, my lord, for the sons, the sons of Jacob, the elders of my people. Return with me that I may worship the Lord. Bring me Agag. My life is in your hands. I'm sorry, Saul. I just want you to know exactly what has happened to you. I'm listening to you. Obedience is our way of living. 
It's not just something you do, like a sacrifice. The Lord looks at the heart of a man and then proceeds to judge that man by his motives. Many, even those who offer sacrifice, don't offer it with obedience in their hearts. Yes, my Lord. It is a way of life. I shall weep over you all the days of my life. Please don't, Samuel. I must sleep in the bed that I have foolishly made for myself. <clears throat> Surely, death's bitterness has vanished. I sit before a judge without a sword. Hm. As your sword has made women childless, so shall your mother now end up childless as well. Then Samuel went to Ramah, but Saul went up to his house at Gibeah of Saul. And Samuel did not see Saul again until the day of his death, for Samuel grieved over Saul. And the Lord regretted that he had made Saul king over Israel. My Lord Samuel, my heart is full with happiness today. Why is that, Jonadab? Because you are getting some fresh air once more. So you're worried about my health? Oh, yes, my lord. How long you have grieved over Saul. I have grieved much. However, can you imagine how the Lord our God has grieved over Saul? No, I cannot imagine. Today... I will anoint a new king over the sons of Jacob. If Saul should hear of it, he will no doubt strike me dead. It is for this reason you will offer a sacrifice? Covering my cowardice? Yes. <laughs> Jonadab. Yes? I'm going to invite Jesse of Bethlehem to come sacrifice to the Lord our God. He is to come with all the members of his clan for it is one of his sons that is to be anointed king over all the sons of Jacob. When you walk among the people, they tremble. It is for this reason I go with the blessing of the Lord, under the disguise of sacrifice. <clears throat> I am going in obedience. My legs fail me, but my heart is strong. <laughs> If your legs fail you, what should I say about my own legs? <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. We are going to anoint a new king. A king closer to God's heart. I am quite anxious to see the man whom the Lord will choose. Yes, as am I. Come, come, come eat with us. Sit down. Uh, no, 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 Sit no. Sit down. Father, the judge is coming up the road. Who, my son? What are you babbling about? That old man, the judge. He's... Who? Samuel? Yes, the judge. May God help us. Uh, prepare the place. Prepare the place. Quickly, quickly. Ah, uh, uh, he's coming. I have come so that you and all Jacob's sons may know the purpose of our God. 
what, what can I do for you in this humble home of mine? Uh, my, my home, uh, my sons, uh, my herds, my olives, perhaps? All that I possess is yours. Uh, take what you will. I came for one purpose only. I... I came for one of your sons. Oh, I see, my lord. Uh, does the king desire to choose brave fighters? I didn't come here for armies or servants or priests, but for a king. The lord sent me to find himself a king. One of my sons? One of these brave lads will become king? He... Uh, he is the finest of the lot. God sees not as a man sees, for a man looks only at the outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart within. The Lord has not chosen any of these boys. Are you sure? Uh, perhaps if my Lord were to review them a second time. Do you have any other sons? There is the youngest that is tending the sheep. Send someone to get him. Until he arrives, I will wait right here. He wants to see David. But why would he want a child? He's our youngest brother. Any honor as that should belong to the oldest brother. Go, go, and bring him immediately. Go. Yes, father. David, come. Come quickly. But I have to stay with the sheep. I was told to remain here. You must hurry home. Is my father all right, my brothers? I don't know. You must hurry home. Yes, all right. leave us. Son of Jesse. This is the one anointed by God and chosen by the Lord to lead his people at the appointed hour.